Dr. IPS Oberoi, I'm an arthroscopy surgeon based in New Delhi, India. I was the past secretary and president of Indian Arthroscopy Society. And I have been practicing arthroscopy for nearly 30 years now. Uh, my area of interest especially is uh, knee reconstruction and shoulder arthroscopy uh, surgery. More so in athlete, elite athletes and uh, sportsmen. Uh, we have been doing uh, ligament reconstruction surgeries for nearly three decades now. And we have been exposed to synthetic ligaments in our three decades of uh, experience. However, uh, when uh, uh, Kairos actually uh, came in contact with us and uh, showed us the benefits of uh, a jewel uh, as a standalone ACL reconstruction ligament, uh, we were quite skeptical initially in our uh, understanding because the historically the ligaments have uh, not worked uh, uh, up to the expectations of the surgeons and there have been reports about some uh, rejections in uh, synthetics. Uh, but when I uh, talk to a couple of surgeons who have been using uh, neoligament, the, the jewel, uh, especially uh, Professor uh, Kolwoski in uh, Poland, uh, I was quite convinced seeing his series uh, and other series of other surgeons in UK that this ligament has stood to time. Uh, uh, I went through all the articles and uh, biomechanical studies and they were reinforcing us that this ligament is, uh, is something which is a solution to a lot of problems which we have uh, while using uh, autografts and allografts in patient with the uh, single or a multiple ligament reconstruction. I think uh, uh, what I have understood is possibly the design, uh, the material as well as uh, the way it is applied. So all these three things, uh, as they work together, they make jewel different from other synthetics. Uh, the essential design is something which is uh, friendly to incorporation of the, uh, the, the synthetic ligament with the normal host uh, tissue. The way it is fixed, it is uh, essentially very, very simple method and any arthroscopy surgeon who is doing ligament reconstruction uh, can easily go ahead and do that. And number three, uh, it has stood to time. I think that's very, very important with synthetics that this has stood to time. So we started using synthetics more so in difficult cases, which essentially included obese patients, uh, which had BMI more than 40. And these are patients which fall down again and again, and they break their autografts. We use them in complex ligament injuries, which actually had fractures and fracture dislocations. Uh, multiple uh, injuries. We use them in revision scenarios and when we started getting good results out of them, we were able to rehabilitate these patients well. Uh, the patients had very less pain post-operatively. Uh, relapse, recurrence of these ligament injuries never happened again and their follow-up shows us that uh, they were actually up and about very fast. We got convinced that if these ligaments can work in these difficult circumstances, we can slowly go ahead and uh, replicate the same results by putting and implanting these ligaments in our normal patients, those who have simple uh, ACL tears or maybe a simple PCL tears or an MCL tear. So when you do complex cases and you find that it is working, for sure, when you do a simple case, we think it is going to work. The REA protocol has become enhanced. So now we do no longer wait for the graft incorporation to happen. We can actually get the patient going. The tunnel formation in uh, implanting the jewel synthetics is actually so minimum that we preserve a lot of bone. Uh, the patient's post-operative pain is much, much, much less because hardly any the bone edema does happen. Uh, primarily, synthetics have got day one strength. We allow them almost all kinds of activities soon after the surgery when they are pain-free. So our rehabilitation protocol has totally changed. And uh, in uh, elite athletes, actually they love it because they are back into gym in couple of days and are doing good amount of work so they don't allow their muscles to get into inhibition and that's the best part of all these ligaments. Uh, I think implanting jewel needs uh, good surgical precision unlike autografts which uh, uh, or allograft for that matter where 100% uh, uh, accuracy might not be assessed uh, required but for incorporation of a synthetic uh, because it's an isometric graft your placement of the graft and fixation of graft has to be nearly absolute. So I would actually encourage young uh, surgeons to go back 
looking into the anatomy of anterior cruciate ligament and then do all of these steps very precisely once done precisely the results are excellent so precision is important and that is why training and teaching is very important in implantation of the synthetic ligaments uh, right now it is being more used for the ligament uh, single ligament reconstruction or double ligament reconstruction a uh, future going i think uh, multi ligament reconstructions are cases where possibly we should be actually encouraging more and more use of synthetics revision cases are also coming up in a big number reasons may be many but these are again cases where synthetics are a solution uh, going ahead if we are able to incorporate uh, some kind of biology into synthetics uh, that's the future every time we go to any other place uh, usually the first question which comes back to us is uh, this same question that synthetics were not working nicely and they were they talk about gotex and carbon fiber and so many other implants which had their own issues uh, i think we have to convince them by showing our results we have to convince them by showing the world literature about the specific ligament so we we we, we talk that uh, i think one should not compare apple to oranges one has to understand how this ligament is different from all other synthetics which are available in market or which were available historically and how our surgical technique has made the difference uh, we show them our clinical results we have been implanting now nearly uh, one and a half to two years or so though our results are limited but then there is a world literature of more than a decade of these ligaments working very very well so when they are convinced by the world literature and literature and results of the their peers Uh, the conviction becomes much more stronger.